Greetings guys, today I would like to specify and clarify some things regarding position of the right hand and namely regarding the sound extraction. So before, as you know, I assert that um, we have two positions, two options, first of which is the curved hand and, with the, and the second with the right hand. But uh, here importance is not namely the not exactly the position the position i mean the position of the uh, of the wrist is the consequence of one thing which is the main point exactly namely um, the sound extraction so so generally we have two options of the sound extraction horizontal sound extraction and the vertical sound extraction why do i say this because some guitarists, many guitarists, uh, using straight hand, nevertheless, with the horizontal sound extraction. Because we know that many people have uh, different length of the arms, and also it depends on how high uh, is staying your guitar. If it's higher, your position uh, also can be changed. Yeah? So, the main point exactly is the type of sound extraction horizontal or vertical in horizontal sound extraction our nails playing uh, guitar in parallel way uh, relative to the string so and your thumb is forward is uh, in the front in relation to the other fingers on the contrary, way when you play the vertical sound extraction, your nails are perpendicular to the strings, and your thumb is backward, not so in the front. Yeah, so your fingers are in the front in relation to your thumb. Yeah, and this is absolutely different sound extraction. Good. So why many guitarists are using the straight hand and nevertheless they extract the horizontal sound extraction? Why? Because uh, their uh, place, their um, their side of the touching uh, between arm and guitar a little bit closer to the wrist than it must be. For example, I recommend you to put the arm on guitar closer to the elbow like this yeah and in this case of course if your guitar is not so high you will have curved hand and this is good this is uh, better than uh, than otherwise but some guitarists uh, using position like this and their place of touching is a little bit uh, closer to the wrist and far from the elbow and this is worse why because you cannot play the horizontal sound extraction of, co of course you can but it is more difficult why because you have to curve your hand to the other side to opposite <coughs> i mean uh, you have to keep it higher and this is very inconvenient and unnatural uh, for your autonomy. Why? Because you can low your uh, wrist. Yeah, and this is very comfortable. Not very, but okay. Yeah, but you cannot do it higher because it's very inconvenient. Yeah. So and if you play like this, besides, and your guitar is higher, that I don't recommend you to do this. So your sound extraction will be horizontal using the straight hand. And then it means definitely it's very, very inconvenient to play very good sound extraction, exactly the vertical sound extraction. Because as we know, I was talking before about this, this uh, kind of sound, sound extraction is more beautiful, more deeper. Yeah, and uh, if you don't play something very fast in very um, high speed or not tremolo, of course, we play this. 
hand. And if you if you want to play tremolo or something in cosmic speed, definitely you have to use uh, horizontal sound extraction. So, come back to our topic, and this means that if you play like this, you uh, almost are not able to. Of course, you can, but it's very inconvenient. You have to to do something very strange, <laughs> yeah, to get this kind of sound extraction vertical. Just listen this sound. And compare with this. It's different, yeah, not uh, much better, of course. Okay, we will talk about this uh, later. Not today about the difference uh, between sounds. Thus, I recommend you to put guitar a little bit closer to your elbow in order to get the very comfortable position in order to change your arms very, very uh, conveniently. Very, very comfortable, yeah? During the play and dur during the playing composition. So our conclusion is the main thing exactly is the difference between sound extraction, horizontal sound extraction and vertical sound extraction. And this is like not so important. This is our consequence. This is consequence of your uh, stain, I mean stain of your nails, your, your fingers. Yeah. That is why I advise you to put your guitar in the level of your, I mean, the top of guitar must be in the level of around eyes, nose, lips, and a little bit, a little bit higher, not too much, like top of your head. But I don't advise you to to play this. This is very um, popular lately, recently. Uh, to put guitar like this, and I repeat again, this is very uncomfortable to get this sound extraction. And many guitarists, as you can see in YouTube or in the concerts, using something average. Uh, their wrist is straight, the sound extraction something in the middle, not horizontal, not uh, too vertical, and they cannot um, change very easily very uh, comfortably the position and they are using only one type of the sound extraction of course not always not every guy but very often and uh, this is uh, very bad because you cannot get you cannot achieve many advantages uh, changing your hand so you can watch video about these uh, two types in the link under this video. Small announcement. I recently opened my new YouTube channel in Spanish. Thus, if you speak Spanish or are just curious, welcome over there. There will be not only guitar lessons, but also a combination of sports with music, with guitar. Recommendations on how to combine these things, I mean sports, with music. Also, there will be various teachings on psychology and philosophy. The link will be in the description. So, I just uh, wanted to clarify something, because I have been asked, uh, I have been asked by one guy who uh, said me that Anna Vidovich played Etude, uh, Villa Lobos number one, uh, with the straight hand. And nevertheless, they uh, can play very fast. And I asserted before in the, in the video about this, about uh, difference between modern position and modern position like this, and the classical position, I asserted that uh, almost impossible to get, absolutely impossible to get very good pace, very high speed, using this uh, vertical sound extraction. Yeah, and this is true because uh, one uh, because in the case of Anna Vidovich, uh, um, she played in something uh, average position, 
but uh, mo more using more horizontal sound extraction. Nevertheless, her wrist is straight. Why? Because her arm a little bit is shorter than mine or of uh, other men. And, uh, and besides, she puts in a little bit closer to the wrist. Something like this. And probably her guitar maybe a little bit higher. Something like this, yeah? And you can see my wrist is straight, but sound extraction almost horizontal, not completely like this. And in this case, of course, you can get a high speed. And besides, she didn't play very fast. It was just uh, average pace. Yeah? Thus, I repeat again, we have to use both sound extractions, not only not stopping only on one, because we have many advantages here and here. And more specifically about this topic, you can find, you can listen in my video, link of which will be under this video. Good, so, and I ask you, please uh, send more comments. You can say something critical, it doesn't matter. It's very good for me, I love uh, critique because I can, I can make stronger my arguments, my position, I can clarify and uh, specify something and moreover my opponent as well can uh, change his opinion uh, if uh, I can say and I can answer on his questions. So this is very uh, useful for both to, to keep uh, discuss, and to keep conversation, even with some critical uh, points. And also some people ask me about by what I play guitar, I mean by nails or by fingertips. This is a very popular question and I answer that both because if you use horizontal sound extraction, predominantly you use only nails without fingertip. Yeah, I mean without skin, just... Yeah, it, it is touching a little bit, but not uh, using. Of course, when I use technique with uh, preparing fingers before the sound extraction, before playing, and, and uh, uh, this implies the pressing into guitar a little bit yeah and in this case in the horizontal sound extraction sometimes i can use a little bit fingertip yeah not that this is not so often as uh, it seems but if we're talking about this sound extraction vertical of course definitely we use both we our sound extraction implies the transmission the the pass from the fingertip into the nails so here both are using are taken apart in the sound extraction The beginning of the sound we use like uh, fingertip and next your finger is passing into the nails. I mean the moving the movement is going more and more using nails. But here in this sound extraction you use only predominantly, not completely, but mostly uh, nails, only nails, and in such technique as tremolo or something very fast, scale technique, for example, in, in very, very fast uh, pace, of course, uh, only by this option. 
So the answer is both. I hope everything is understandable, right? Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.